eating the topping just on its own <laughs> as a, she said this is like a cookie to me and I think it's true it's good because it, yeah. it had well like a savory cookie it had dill um, ground walnuts lemon zest a little bit of olive oil and it's all it's just got that great texture it's a very meaty texture so you yeah. can often substitute like a, a ground up walnut uh, mix it with some things and use it as a meaty in, um, substitute basically. Well, I was reading some of the different ways that you can, they're so versatile, like you can put it in as your crumb on a cheesecake, to yeah. putting it in soups, to you know, thicken yeah. them up. Yep, yeah. toss it in a salad, you can spice them and have like spiced nuts, but the bottom line is eating nuts is so good for you, and walnuts have got that um, omega-3, a large component, more than any other nut, yeah. so they're very, very good for you, so eating eight to ten halves a day, just like a handful, is an amazing, full of protein, great to keep you hung, uh, like to keep you from I'm feeling hungry. Antioxidants. Yeah. yeah, so we're always looking ways to boost it up. So fish is good. Putting a, a, a walnut crust on top of it that's so, so, so mm. um, delicious and extra good. And it good. looks impressive too. It just looks so great on the plate and then yeah. some on the salad. So that recipe, the, all these recipes are at walnutinfo.com. But as I said, this is for large entertaining. The recipe is for 12, um, 12 salmon steaks or, or fillets. Yeah. So you can be doing a large party with no problem. This looks incredible. What is that? No, that <laughs> is a walnut key lime pie smoothie. And we're going to, I'll show you how to make it. I've had this before. I make it all the time. It's so creamy and delicious. It's full of goodness. It really tastes like a key lime pie. Dessert in a glass. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll start with half a banana mm -hmm. and we'll chop it up and put it in here. And look how basic the ingredients are right now. I know you this. have all these things. You always yeah. have walnuts. Again, we were talking about storing your walnuts. You want to keep them in the refrigerator for up to six months in an airtight container or in the freezer for up to a year. That's great. If they're in the so nut, fresh. it can be... Um, in in the in the nut. <laughs> yeah, in the nut they last long. In the right? nut, in the shell, <laughs> they last for three months. In it, it's stored. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put in half an avocado, half a banana. Um, I already There's have some ground up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We'll put in some walnuts, ground up or or not. You just have to. And then we're putting three quarter cups of water, some fresh lime juice, a third a cup of coconut milk, Whoa, tropical yummy. creaminess and some honey for a little bit of sweetness. Oh, How I think some dill got in there too. How easy is that? <laughs> some, a little bit of dill never hurt anyway. Yeah, delicious. It'll just get blended up with everything else. So we'll just blend this up. Oh, I think we're not plugged in. Oh, uh, the food processor was. So it'll blend up as soon as you put that in. But I got in it. <laughs> I know, on the job. <laughs> How easy was that? Like five little ingredients there. The thing about it is, is it's kind of shocking how delicious it is. So yeah. you go, really? Well, because you look at avocado going in with banana, and you're kind of like, mm. It is full of goodness. And you can put a ring on that. You can drink it just like that. Texture-wise, if you don't mind a bit of extra crunch. Can oh, you? my goodness. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. Yeah, and I think the one thing I would do, I didn't do, is I would put frozen banana in it. And mm. that would even just get that, like, smoothie, smoothie flavor going. Oh, that is ridiculous. Okay, good. I love it. Yeah, so Okay, so ideas. where do we go for these recipes? Walnutinfo.com. Anything you want to know about the nutrition of walnuts. Uh, they're from California. Look for USA or California on your bags, and you're going to be guaranteed that is key. quality. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. These were incredible segments. So user-friendly, so wonderful. Love you. Aw, thanks, Ben. Thanks, Corey Keeley. All right, we're going to head to the uh, Ottawa Home and Garden Show. That's oh, going good. on all weekend long. And you have a backyard oasis. Yes. We've had a chance to be in your backyard cooking with you. Sarah got a little lesson on how to create a, a backyard oasis with a pond.